Oh, we're here. We're three and a half minutes away, 50 miles. Mitch is running the half marathon. Yep. Uh, any last words? Good luck, man. Thank you, dude. <laughs> it's going to be a long okay, day. Okay, loop one, loop two. You go left both times now. Also, one other thing quickly is on the second loop, when you guys had, you come in here on your 50K mark, bring you right back to the same spot in the bottom of the wash. Three, two, one, go get a 50 miles, have fun out there. What a perfect morning. One and a half miles into 50. Feeling really good. A lot better than I did yesterday. Can't wait to see how today plays out. A few hundred feet into the first climb. Almost five miles in. Feeling really good. Legs feel good. Nothing's sore from yesterday. So yeah, really hoping for a good day out here. Got the knees K taped up. So hopefully that really helps. And Jesus, look at that. Well, goddamn. All right, so we are. Just about to be six miles in. Almost tripped right there. It'll be fun on camera. Uh, yeah, just over an hour. About a thousand feet of climb so far. Actually, check that. 1,800 feet of climb so far. this time of day. I think Jamil is right behind me a little bit, which is cool. It's cool to be out here with him. Definitely going to be sending good wishes his way for the Barkley in a few weeks. So yeah, there's six right there. It's just 44 more to go, man. No big deal. Yeah, hey, baby. All right. Eight miles in. 2,400 feet of climb. About two miles from the end of this first climb. I think we're going to go up there. And then it's down for a few miles. And then the start of climb number two right away. You get two nice, like, 2,500 foot climbs pretty much out the gate. And then I think at mile like 35, we do the last climb. Everything's clicking along so far. I've had two of my nut butter packets and a bunch of water. I've been drinking really good. So, not much else to say right now, but keep chugging. I think I'm still in about 8th place, so that's pretty cool. There's been a bunch of 50k runners passing me. Let's 
see Jamil back there. Fifteen miles in, just left the some kind of aid station. Not sure which one it was. <clears throat> Everything's clicking still. About seventeen miles in, somewhere around four thousand feet of climb. Oh, this climb is steep. And we repeat this one later in the race. Taking it real slow. My average pace per mile right now is 12.54. How's it going, man? Yeah. yeah. I'm getting a little breeze. Yeah. Yeah, the backside of this area seems to be way cooler. Oh, well, it's a lot higher in elevation, too. Oh, okay. I think that's a big part of it. For sure. Yeah. Got my fingers crossed. It's really cool. I've got to chat it up with Jamil for like a minute or two. Boy, that last climb was epic. So, there's three major climbs. That was number two. Just finished it. We're headed down now. Uh, but that last one that we just did, we hit again at like mile 35, 36 or something. So, I think between now and then, I gotta be pretty coach. I got about a half marathon between doing that again. So, just try to keep fed, keep drink, and take it easy. Just gotta keep smiling. I want to say I'm having a little bit of a low, but I'm not. I'm just having a little patch where I'm not going fast. Boy, what a day. A little over four hours in. I'm like 18 something miles. I think I'm gonna run out of water before uh, before I get to that next aid station, which sucks, but at least it's colder on this backside, so won't need as much. Alright, so update. I'm like 25 miles in. Uh, I might have gone the wrong way, but there's no way to know. Because I am on course. I just don't know if I went like after. I think it's the Mesquite Canyon aid station. If I was supposed to go straight first or left first. I don't know. So, until I see another sign, I'm not going to know if I went the right way. Because there are still course markings on the trail. Alright, marathon distance update, I'm going the right way, almost right after that last clip I filmed, there was a sign that said 50 milers at this distance go this way, and uh, I was right at that distance, so worked out, I was not going the wrong way, but now we're on this back section that I was talking about yesterday with uh, the boulder. Let me 
climbing down these big ass rocks. Way more up here. Just came down that thing. Yes, I got this little next bit of in the shade. I'm out of water and I am two plus miles from the next aid. I feel good, but this, uh, no water thing is gonna bite me. I think. <sighs> when I get back to start finish, at mile 29 or whatever, I'm just gonna drink as much water as I can. Fill my pack up all the way. Because this is the second time I'm running out today. Boulder City, dude. Yeah, without this water, I'm pretty exhausted. <sighs> really could use a little H2O. All right, we're about uh, two miles from start finish, which means we're done with the 50K, 31 mile mark. Oh, just got some water. Um, boy, I needed that. I was feeling like shit. Uh, getting better now, though. Just gonna walk a little bit and then run it in. And uh, try not to spend too much time at start finish before heading out for the last uh, 18, 19 miles or so. But yeah, alright. Feeling a lot better now that I've had water. Good job, guys. Good job, Jamil. All right, just finished uh, 50K. Left uh, start finish. Man, I'll tell you what, last time I uh, finished a 50 miler, being at start finish, knowing I had 20, you know, 19, 20 miles to go, I did not want to go out. Uh, didn't really have that problem right now. Really feel good, feet feel good. Everything feels good, man. I just drank a bunch of water, a little Gatorade and some ginger ale. Had a gel and a cookie. And uh, we're back out. Last leg, man. Got that big climb coming up. Ooh, just gonna take it slow. It's in the 90s. It's very hot. I'm gonna take a seat, dump some rocks in the shoes. So average pace per mile is 14, 12 seconds. Uh, to 
do a sub 12. I need a 14.24 average pace. So maybe not today. <sighs> it's all good. I'm just going to be happy to get a finish after the Kuyamaka, which, you know, wearing the shirt. I even have my bib from Kuyamaka in my pack. <sighs> Gotta redeem those DNFs, baby. Mile 35 update. 15 to go. I think we're coming up on... Uh, oh, man, I'm tired. Uh, we're coming up on the aid station right before that big steep climb. Uh, really not looking forward to that, but I do know that right after that it's pretty much all downhill. If there is a climb, it's going to be very small, if not steep. And then, dude, just beers, and then get to Buffalo Wild Wings so me and Mitch can watch, uh, watch these fights, man. Israel Adesanya, he changed his name. Update. I feel like shit. I kind of, kind of want to throw up. Uh, I'm super tired. This last climb is uh, <sighs> it's killing me, man. I could have swore it wasn't this long last time. Jesus. Oh. Let's take a seat for a second. Holy shit, bro. I feel trashed. Got about 10 miles to go. Fuck. It's mostly downhill, but I still don't think I'll be moving very fast. What a day. What a day. 12 hours. 14 minutes. Um, whew. I think I have about three and a half miles to go. I'm so tired. Eating this gel makes me want to fucking throw up. Oh, God. We're so close though. I think we're gonna get over that and then drop down. And then it's like, it's like flat. farts. Like a point one left. What a long day this has been. First time finishing 50 miles by myself, no pacer. What a fucking brutal day, man. This course is no joke. Oh. I am shot skis, bitch. I need to smoke some weed. Let's run this thing in. <laughs> <laughs> 